Finding a least possible value of y when we have two variables is not easy to find the value of y, but we have a technique to find the value by using two variables. This is the question from miscellaneous exercise one from new additional mathematics book, question number five. If you think this video is useful for you, please continue watching my video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Miscellaneous exercise question number five. We have these two sets, so we can just draw the diagram first of all. Like how we can decide because the intersection is x, and there is outside. Like I have to set all the values first of all. So first thing is n intersect like number of uh, elements in a intersection. We are like x, like x here. And the number of elements in set uh, A is Y, so I will write Y minus X. And the number of set in B are 2Y minus X. And the elements which are A complement intersection, B complement are 7, so I will write 7 outside because this is the position. And the total number of universal sets are 23, total 23. So we have all the areas. First condition, no, what normally we write that y minus x, this one plus x, and plus this 2y minus x, and plus 7 should be equal to 23 because the total universal set numbers are 23. x, x cancel out, y, y is 3y. This is minus x. And when you move uh, 7 in right hand side, it's becoming 16. So y is equals to 16 plus x, and y is equals to 16 plus x divided by 3. Now, this is the right equation. This I have to decide, I have to take the possible value of x here to get minimum value of y because we need to find the least possible value, means minimum value. Okay. So I have to use a trial and error now. Trial and error, uh, what we say actually, uh, in trial and error normally I have to write x equals to one first. If I write one here, if I write x equals to one. So one means y is equals to 16 plus one divided by three is coming 17 upon three. Because uh, when you, uh, like it's not possible 17 divided by 3, so I will not take this value. I have, because in normal in sets, we are not having the numbers in decimal. So, second option, x equals to 2. When I substitute x equal to 2, it's coming 16 plus 2 divided by 3, and it's coming 18 upon 3, and it's coming y equals to 6. Okay, when I substitute y, x equals to 3, uh, so y is equal to 16 plus 3 upon 3 and is coming 16, 17, 19 upon 3 is not possible because not cancelling, we need the not in decimal. When we substitute x equals to 4 is coming 16 plus 4 upon 3 and again it's not possible, it's coming 20 upon 3. But when we substitute 16 like a 5, x is 5, uh, x 5. So is coming 21 upon 3 and which is 7. Okay. 7 is bigger than 6. And we need to find the smallest value of like smallest value of uh, y. So this is not possible because we need the smallest value. Okay. If I substitute x equal to 0, suppose. So this will become y is equal to 16 plus 0 upon 3. Again, is coming in decimal. So this is the right value, which is the smallest value, and this is the smallest value of y. We have done it. If you think this video is useful, please like my video, subscribe my channel, share with your friends. Thank you so much, and have a nice day.